Uh, you heard us talking about AI, and you tailored this segment around that. I did. It was fascinating. It was a great segment, you guys. I, I, I had, to, really I had to listen too. to it twice on the podcast. It was, it was really so good. good. Too. Um, let's start with the Phoebe stuff, because yeah. I was talking about you know Phoebe's heading into college, August 12th, and has a plan, but who, I mean, four years, right? Yeah. Four years or six yeah. if she goes to law school. Yeah. There could, hell, half the jobs could be gone by then. Uh, okay, well, so... I did a lot of research on this, and I asked a lot of uh, friends in the industry, and honestly, I, not uh, m- several will be gone, yes, but most will be augmented with some sort of augmented reality and augmented AI integrated into that. And what I mean by that is, um, for example, so guys at the Amazon warehouse wear uh, uh, glasses, and they're augmented with a computer, obviously, that it overlays reality. So you're looking through the glasses, but it's the computer is telling you, go over here to this aisle, look up, pick up this item off of this shelf, put it into this box. So the computer is telling you what to do. That is what we're all going to be walking around with in some form. Kind of like when the smartphone came out in 2007, everybody was like, ooh, ah. And then 08 came along, and slowly the flip phone started going away. And now everybody's got this, this thing in their pocket. Well, there will be augmented devices that will help you. And when you look around, you'll, you'll go into like a, on, a, on a vacation into a different city and look around with these glasses and it'll tell you everything about where you need to go, where the best restaurants are, but it's augmented through what you're really seeing. So the job market's going to be the same way in that your jobs will just become more efficient. Yeah, You'll listen to what the AI tells you to do. And then you'll make your own decisions here's, from what it's suggesting. Here's something I've never asked you. So every generation has Luddites who, you know, I, I don't want to use the modern technology. I'm going to live like they did 100 years ago, what have you. In, say, 20 years, yeah. if uh, someone were to say, I'm not wearing the glasses. I'm not doing it. I'm doing it the old-fashioned way. Or the contact way. lenses. Like, that how have lost yeah. would they be? Uh, well, I mean, you would be pretty lost on what's going on. So it may be very difficult to navigate society in yes. 20 years unless you adapt it. Correct. Because either you have the contact lenses in that show you everything that's going on, you'll be able to speak to a device that's literally sitting around your ear or around your neck, like a necklace and so forth, that then talks to the contact lens in your eye that tells you what's going on. Uh, then it's you like integrate. Mission Impossible. Yeah, and then you integrate. That's exa- Well, that, that's just where this technology is coming from. But that just be everyday people. Everyday people. And then integrate AI into that, and it'll automatically tell you, hey, you have an appointment 15 minutes, but you're 20 minutes away. You better make a phone call, and it automatically will make that phone call. Now you're talking through your ear. That it, while you're walking down the street looking at augmented reality, it's calling the person you know you're going to be late for because AI told you you're going to be late. I so, mean, it's, so you it's, might be able to go to a restaurant, sit down. The menus in your contact lenses. Yeah. You blink twice for fish. Yep. So, do and you think that we'll be communicating far less in twenty years, or simply differently? Differently. I think it's going to be you're going to be communicating, but it's going to be so much easier. You won't be holding a phone all the time. There won't be a device you hold all the time. You'll be just walk into your home or walk into your friend's house and just start speaking. Uh, whether you won't even have to say her name, you just start speaking. Same thing with your car. Your car will be integrated with your glasses or your contact lenses. Everything becomes one, one unit helping you out in your everyday life. So Phoebe, and this is not all going to happen in four to six years. Yeah. So when she gets out of college, uh, she's going to have a job that. AI will be giving her recommendations on a daily basis, helping her with her schedule, telling her when she needs to go to do certain things. So they will, while they're in college, in the next six years, she'll be learning about how AI will integrate with her career path. So once she chooses her major, they will start talking to her. If she chooses biology, they will start saying, okay, these are the areas you can go into with biology, and here's how AI is going to affect that in, in, in the future. Do you feel like universities are pretty up to speed? Uh, they're they're catching up. They're really catching up. The ones that are on the the cutting edge are the tech tech universities. Like MIT is the leading uh, university, the leading educational uh, system in our country that's leading AI. Yeah. I mean that's they have come up with some fascinating things. Even just in the last two weeks that we so talked about. If someone said, "Hey George, I listen to the DGS. I hear you. I want to do what you do. I want to be you." Is that a four-year degree, a six-year degree, an associate's degree? What would you recommend people do? So if you're going to get into IT, it depends on what area of IT you want to get into. If you want to get into the networking side or the AI side, the server side, that is going to be, it's great to go to, to college, but if you're, when you come out, you need to have certifications on the technology that's out there. If you're going to be a software developer, you have to go to college. You have to learn how to program unless you automatically know how to do that. If you're super genius and you're learning this in your bedroom at your parents' house, then wonderful, but you got to pass 
pass the certification tests. Um, there's also a whole different area of AI that's spawning now where you can become an AI developer, which is what Meta and Microsoft just opened up as open AI platforms that allow you to learn oh, AI from the very beginning. So if you're a teenager, you can go and download Meta's OpenAI, Microsoft's OpenAI um, called Orca, and start learning how to code AI, how to teach AI, how to build your own mobile systems, how to build your own mobile app using AI. So by the time you're getting out of college, you you already understand AI and you're ahead of the game by 10 times. Now, not everybody's going to be in that ballpark, you know, in that, in that area. So it just depends that you want to look at the career path you want to choose. Uh, definitely, t- you need to be, if you're in college now and you're getting ready to choose a major, you need to be looking at AI. You need to be reading about AI. You need to be understanding the, the career path you want to take and relate that back to how AI is going to affect it in 10 to 15 years, because that is going to be the, the big deal about going to college, whether you're going to get something out of it or not. You could spend 50, well, now it's like $150,000, $200,000 in, in, in school and come out and 10 years later not have a job. So you got to really pay attention. Every student out there uh, and parent out there should be looking into AI and how it's going to affect that career path.